Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got a very exciting own bag in. And this is from a new company to me called The Diamond Den. Uh, they are on Facebook and Instagram. I'll put full links down below uh, in the description. And also they do have a website, di thediamondden.co.uk, but they're not fully set up yet. But they did do a few pre-orders um, for custom diamond paintings. I have seen one unboxing on uh, Claire's diamond painting uh, youtube channel and i'll put a link to that down below as well so i've got one myself so let's get into this and have a look as you can see i've not even opened it i've not um had a sneak peek of it or anything but i am dying to have a look at it uh, sorry if you can hear lots of panting in the background millie is uh, having a leisurely sleep with the stickers on the uh, bed in here as you know my craft room um, I have turned it back into sort of a craft room come bedroom so it has got a bed and then instead of being on my feet today she decided that she wants to sleep on the bed so I don't have a lot of soft toy scuffers on there as well um, so she's joining in with those I'll see if I can get a picture later on and pop it in the description Probably pop it in the video description. Oh dear. Please get your head out. This has come very, very well packaged. Um, I think from when I ordered it, it took about three weeks, but obviously that was from me sending it in so that they could do the rendering and everything on it. Wow, look at this. Oh, I say. Oh, look at that. Very nice. I'm just dropping all this rubbish on the floor now. Um, I've got a lovely... Uh, diamond there look if you can see that sparkling sorry you've got a bit of reflection there but it's like uh, all die cut around the edges all crimped around the edges with a lovely diamond on i wonder if i could save that you know me i do like to save all my bits and pieces oh yes i'll be able to uh, snip that off and keep that all right let's have a look at this then lovely black tissue paper oh it's all turn round look like a big cracker <laughs> this is a huge cracker as well oh that's just a hole where i've oh, wow okay oh that's different it's uh, around a uh, tube okay just got a little bit stuck there on the edge of the glue but that's okay that's just the edge of the canvas so We'll keep that. Oh, coming up to Halloween, I can imagine that's going to be used for something. So I'm a crafter, I never throw anything away. Right, so this is, there you are, look, the Diamond Den. You can see that, yeah. We've got the Diamond Den, Dazzle Your Way, and the diamond there. And they have their diamond upside down, look. So it's standing on its end there. It's a 40 by 40. And it's a custom of my little Millie now. Just pop that to one side. Gosh, that's heavy. Goodness me. Okay, so let's have a look at this canvas. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry, that's the cat. The diamonds have just fallen over. Look at that rendering. That looks fab. Okay. Uh, we've got the Diamond Den UK down here, Facebook, the diamond, under, sorry, the underscore diamond underscore then for uh, you, Instagram. My brain's not working today. And as I say, I will put the links down below. This is a beautiful soft canvas and it's got like um, a velvety mole skinny type feel to it. It's got your lovely crimped edges. So, oops, gone a little bit off the edge there, but that's okay. Uh, 35 colours. Wow. Okay. Um, right, let's have a look. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's brilliant. That's um, one of my pet hits that they've uh, done correctly. <laughs> Where you've got your numbers that actually correspond to the numbers there. You've got some capital letters. And then just to the bottom after your 26 alphabet letters. We've just got a few symbols, but they all look pretty clear to me there. Okay. All right. So let's just uh, see if we can flatten this out. And this is poured glue. As you remember, a couple of my, well, three of my customs that I got 
wear double-sided tape and they came with a clear cover so I'm very very wary of clear covers now but that is definitely poured glue that is not double-sided tape so that is excellent and the cost of this 40 by 40 custom you can't quite get it all in can you just see just about just about I've put my tripod a little bit higher um, but I'm not sure how secure it is and I think it might collapse <laughs> So if you suddenly get a really close-up view, you'll know my camera and my tripod have collapsed. Okay, so yeah, so this is a 40 by 40 and this was 19.99. I mean, how fantastic is that? It is a square drill. I did take the plunge and decide on squares and I didn't know whether it was going to come as double-sided or poured glue, but it is poured glue and that is brilliant. I'm just going to lift this cover and take a few of these wrinkles out. Uh, and the wrinkles are on the plastic, they're not on the canvas. This canvas looks absolutely superb. Wonderful, wonderful quality. And I'm just going to make this worse, aren't I? You know what I'm like with plastic. I'm just trying to do it on camera. And I'm sat down as well. I must get... Oh, do you know, I got a straightener, didn't I? In that last kit that I opened up last week. I should have kept that upstairs with me for when I'm doing this. But this drill field looks so clear. Let's just have a look at the drill field while we're here. Look at that. You can see all the... Is it focusing in? Not get, Oh, we're getting a bit glare there. Hopefully it's focusing in. Yeah, you can see that now. So we've got nice clear white letters on the dark colours. And then down to the bottom. Oh, sorry about the glare. Let's see. Let's see. Get a bit there. You can see that a little bit better. Um, and then nice dark colours on the uh, white colours. Oh, and no guide circles. We've got little squares round because it is a square, but there are no guide circles, so that's fab. Oh, I've got so many to do. I want to do this one now. I won't be long before I'm fitting this one up. This is brilliant. I love this. Absolutely love it. It will be the biggest square that I've ever done and I know you'll all be laughing at me because you all get those really yeah, huge ones that are like hundreds by eighties and all sorts and do them in squares well I'm a round girl really um, so this will be the largest square one that I've done and I was a bit apprehensive no I've not made that hugely any better have I just have a look at the little thumbnail you can just see my Millie Mill I'll put the photograph as well But yeah, I sent the photograph and um, they will have a look at it. They will suggest sizes for you. This was the smallest size that um, he suggested. I have got quite a few others that I'm going to be sending off to him as well. Um, but yeah, oh, just, oh, I just can't believe how good this is, how wonderful this is. I mean, look at that back. That is just so soft and so nice. I could just sit and stroke this all day, actually. <laughs> But that wouldn't make a very good video, would it? Okay, so we're a particle canvas. Let's just measure this. Uh, so it's 40 by 40. It does look as though it's going to be true to size, but we'll have a look. And it is oh, just a smidge, about a tenth of a centimetre under 40. By, let's have a look. Yep, just, oh no, that's dead on 40. So it is... 40 by 40 so it's an exact size as well which makes it even better I love this my little Millie with the tongue hanging out because it was a hot day so let's have a look what's in this tube okay all right and we've got the logo on the tube which we've got the diamond den there stamped oops we've got the diamond den there stamped onto the tube Dazzle your way. Sorry, I hope you, I don't know if you can hear Millie. Millie, pant, 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 pant. Goodness me. She maybe knows it's her. Is this you on this picture? So I quite like that idea. I've never had one um, wound around a tube before, but that has really delivered the canvas in a really nice condition. So I'm uh, quite happy with that. Let's see what's in here. So. Ooh, look at all these drills, wow. And what else have we got? Oh, look 
a little toolkit, little toolkit. There's something else in there, I can hear it. Shall we take it from the other end? Let's have a look. Oops. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, well, that's the toolkit. Okay, right, there's nothing else in there. Nice, good, sturdy tube. This has arrived in such good condition. Am I raving about this? I am raving about this because I think the fact that we've got a new UK company, um, they get back to you with messages, the delivery was superb, and then it's really exciting as to what we're getting. So we'll have a look at the drills in a moment. They're all looking nice and colourful. I say, I've got used to the fact now that when I do um, the Scotty dog, oh, they're all in baggies as well. Look, they're all in baggies. Yay! All ready to go. Oh, excellent, excellent. Yes, yes. Oh, can you tell I'm going to be doing this pretty quickly? Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I've got used to the fact of the colours now that we end up with pinks and all sorts and purples and all sorts of colours when I'm doing um, a black Scotty dog. You don't seem to get <laughs> just completely black, not the colours you would expect. So we've got a little toolkit. Uh, it's up from a basic toolkit. Got two squares of the opaque wax, a little boat um, with the flat bottom and your basic pen with your three placer and your single placer. So everything I need to get started there. So that's your little toolkit. As I say, a lot of people don't like getting the toolkits, but I do I just think they like a little extra present when you get a toolkit. So what's in the gold bag? This is nice. Ooh, let's see, let's see. Oh, wow. Let's have a look. Hey, oh, spoil, 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 licky goodie bag. Right, so we've got a lovely uh, little card. So that'll go up on my notice board. Thank you for your order. And that's all the details there if you want to screenshot that. Um, but as I say, I will put all the links down below. But that's a lovely a black card with all, like, it's not gold as such. It's like a rose goldy type uh, bronzy gold. It's lovely. Very flash like that. A couple of sweeties. We like some sweeties while we're doing our diamond painting. Put those back in there and hide them. I'll keep the card out there. Look, you look after that Scotty over there. Okay, oops. There you are. Just flatten it down a bit. We've got some great washi tape, so that's good. Always comes in handy, does washi tape. We like that. And then, oh, look at that. This is a little wax in a little pot. And that's a little yellow wax. I've never had yellow wax before, so we'll have to give that a go. And it's got a pink lid. I've not had one of those with a pink lid either. So, oh, you're spoiling us, Diamond Den. Like this, big thumbs up. So, yeah, and that bag. Oh, wow, what can we do with that bag? Well, I might just have to be putting special things in there or it might end up being used for Christmas presents, putting little bits in or little surprises for other people. Or maybe just put things in it in a safe place and forget where they are and then it's a surprise to me when I open it. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. So let's have a look at these drills. So as I say, it is a square and it's 35 colours. Wow. I think the 50 by 50 that it's, I think it was 28 99 which again for a cord glue custom is excellent. Oh, I'll definitely be getting some more. Definitely be getting some more. Okay, right. I think these are all going to be in order. So I'm a little bit reluctant to take them out because they'll be muddling them all up. Um, let's see if we can just look at some of the colours. You can see the colours there. I know what I can do. Where's one of my little tubs? Right, if you remember, um, in a previous video I did mention I'd got these from um, our like craft store, general store called The Range. And there were three for, I think, one forty nine. They're just a soft plastic um, with a little bit of a ridge bottom. They're like a pen storage, really, but I just thought they were quite good for putting... Uh, diamonds in because when they're in baggies like this um would it be 35 colors shall I, I make it up i don't know we'll see but i'll put them in here for now so let's have a look so we do have let's just take out a few at a time 
there's DMC numbers on the canvas there. Is that a DMC number on the you know, I can't even see those. I can see the lovely big ones. Uh, no, I think that's that might be the kit number on there. Let me see if I can see it better on that one. Um, I don't know what those numbers relate to, but uh, so yes, so we've got a nice burgundy colour. As I say, I'm quite used to that colour. What's that one? Yeah, 154. I've had that in a lot of Scotty dogs that I've done. Um, it does seem to be, yeah, quite a, a shading colour. And we've got the 156, which is a lovely blue colour. And the 159, that's like a grey blue. I say they look very, very good quality, these diamonds. We'll wait till we get the darker colours and we'll have a look to see if there's any trash or bits. And 160. We haven't got uh, an inventory sheet with this, but you don't really need it as such. Um, I mean, that might be what these are on the bottom, telling us how many diamonds there are. So I'll maybe get my magnifier out and have a look. <laughs> and 161, again, I've had that one in quite a few um, of the different ones as well. Uh, 210, that's a lovely lilac colour. Say some of it will be the background as well. This photograph was taken by myself um, of Millie and it's at my mum's house. Uh, 317, so there's no 310 in it. Again, it amazes me how many Scotty Dog pictures I have done and there is no 310. Very strange. Uh, 8 is 318. 9 is 336. And that's quite a dark colour. I'm not really seeing. Let's get a little tray and have a look. Oh. Just have a look at some of these drills. See what we've got. See if I can do this without spilling them. Oh, and they're lining up nicely as well. Oh, look at those. That's fab. That is really, really good. I'm impressed. Yep. Oh, look at the sparkle on those as well. So squares, you don't get as much sparkle on a square as you do a round because the rounds have more facets, but you get a lot more detail with the square and they do still sparkle. So let's see if I can get these back in now. I've got them out without tipping them. So see if I can get them back in without tipping them. Uh. <laughs> Yay, I've done it, I've done it. Yay me. <laughs> Bet you were all holding your breath. I was too. <laughs> Right, we're on to 413, which is uh, a grey colour. Again, that's another colour I've had with quite a few Scotties. And let me have a look. So, number 11 is 414. So, we've got a lot of colour families together, which are all going to... And 12451, yeah. When you get uh, several colours with the numbers similar, they're like a colour family. So, it means when they're blended, you get like a bit of an ombre sort of blended effect. And it just gives you... That extra bit of depth to your picture. Four, five, three, and six, three, two, six, four, seven, six, four, eight. Yep, that's another couple of colours that are the same again. A nice blue again. Seven, nine, one, and eight hundred. Oh, that's a nice colour. We've got a, an escapee there. Look, has uh, decided to join the blue party. And 938, which is your dark brown. And number 20 is 939. Yeah, you tend to get an awful lot of 939s in a Scotty painting. But yeah, it's a good substitute for a black and it gives you that depth. Without, I think if you just did it all black, all three tens, you would not get the shading and you would lose the detail because it's too dark. Okay, so next one, so let's have a look. So we're on to, ooh, 3021. Again, that's another lovely deepish, like navy blue colour. Quite like a suit. But not that I go anywhere to wear a suit anymore. Um, 21 is a 3033, a chopsy brown colour. 3371. And a 3042. Yep, yeah, use that one quite a bit as well. And 3371, which is a, a dark brown. Now then we come on to the pinkies and things, the highlights. So we are on number 25, which is 3607. Can you tell I'm reading these off the canvas and I'm struggling to see them? <laughs> 3607, 
is 608. The trouble is, if I wear my glasses, then I look into the distance and I can't see a blooming thing. Uh, I must get some new glasses and get sorted out. 3728 and 3740, 3743, 3747. So we've got, oops, maybe not quite 35 going to fit in this. Mm, I think I might have to kit this one up because I think there's going to be too many bags with this. But it's an easy way to keep them in order for kitting up, isn't it? And then finally, and I've got them out of that horrible plastic bag. I don't like the crinkling. Uh, 3756, that's a uh, minty, greeny colour. And, oh, that one's got a big number on it. 32 is 3834. 3838. These don't have the funny little number at the bottom either, these. So these are slightly different. Uh, 3860. And then 3866. So can you tell we've got, I reckon this is all the bottom half. So yeah, 35 is that little smiley face. Yep, so that is going to be all the tiles. These are all my mum's uh, conservatory tiles. So we've got two huge packs of those, which again, they're looking uh, pretty good quality there. Liking those. Okay. Look at that. So thank you, Diamond Den. Thank you for my little extras and my couple of sweeties. I might have a couple of those and a little golf bag. So yeah, I'm uh, quite impressed with this. Quite impressed with this. So thank you very much. Okay. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this with me. Um, go and give the Diamond Den a check out, see what you think. Um, get in touch with them. They're lovely people. Um, you know, like I said, I've not had any problems communicating with them. I've had a bit of a chat and we've had a bit of a giggle as well um, over crafting and uh, obsessions. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's diamond painting addictive. Oh, yes. All right. OK, so thanks for watching this. Uh, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed seeing this. Uh, Minnie has now sort of like cooled off a bit. So we'll maybe do another couple of videos while I'm in here. Um, if you've enjoyed seeing it, just uh, press that like button down in that corner. Just lets me know that you've enjoyed it and it gives me a little bit of a boost with YouTube as well. And if you want to see the next videos and see when this is finished or when I get this one kitted up, then if you press the subscribe button down in this corner and press the bell next to it, it doesn't cost anything. Um, it just then lets you know on your stream that I've put a new video up and you'll be able to pop back and see what we've been up to so thanks for watching thanks for stopping by i hope to see you all again soon so bye for now